Hello and welcome to the Hindus database coverage of the Lok Sabha elections. Let's now head to West Bengal and let's discuss what's happening in phase 4 in the seats that are going to polls on May 13 in West Bengal. Uh, there are eight constituencies that are going to polls on May 13 in West Bengal. These include Krishnanagar, Birbhum, Bolpur, Bardaman, Durgapur, Bardaman, Purbo, Asanshol, Rana Garden, Bhairampur. Now, if, if you look at the numbers in 2019, you will notice it was a very close contest. The Trinamul Congress won close to 42% of the vote and four seats out of the eight uh, in, in the fray. The BJP won three seats. It was one of his best performances uh, and uh, some say that the BJP reached a peak in the 2019 elections and won close to 40% of the vote share. The Congress won one seat, Bairampur, which also later on went on to become the leader of opposition, Adiranjan Chaudhary from the Congress won it last time. Uh, the Congress won close to 8% of the vote share and the CPM, which was traditionally strong in these areas, especially in Bardhaman, uh, was reduced to merely a 7.4% vote share. In 2021, 20, uh, in the assembly elections that followed, you will notice that the Trinamul's vote share increased from, from 42 to 47 to 48, nearly 48 percent. The BJP's vote share more or less remained the same. Uh, it won close to 39.49 percent of the vote, while the CPM and the Congress vote shares were dramatically reduced. The CPM won merely 5.5 percent and the Congress won 3 percent. So, uh, is it a bipolar election this time also in 2024 as you saw in 2019 and in 2021? or is it uh, much more than that? Are we seeing a multi cornered fight with the CPM and the Congress Alliance try, trying to make a dent in this region? Is the BJ, has the BJP peaked in 2019 or will it uh, uh, continue to retain its high vote share both in the 2019 uh, Lok Sabha and the 2021 elections? What, how is the Trinamul doing? Has it uh, been able to overcome the anti incumbency uh, issues that uh, has uh, you know, bothered it recently? These are the questions that we'll ask uh, Shiv Sahai, our correspondent from West Bengal. So, uh, mm, as we heard, there are eight seats uh, which are going to elections uh, in the fourth phase. Now, largely it will be uh, a bipolar contest on, on uh, in almost seven seats, except Bahrampur seat, which is uh, witnessing a triangular fight between the Congress, uh, Trinamool and BJP. Now, uh, having said that, uh, the left parties and Congress candidates in, other, in, in the remaining seven seats may uh, tilt, may turn, you know, may play a spoil sport for, uh, for, for either of this party, depending on whose votes uh, they take. So, right. and this is also these uh, eight seats, we are also seeing a lot of uh, political heavyweights contesting, like... Uh, in Krishnanagar, where uh, Mohua Mutro is seeking re-election, right. Prime Minister and the Home Minister had campaigned. Similarly, Bardhaman Durgapur, uh, where Dilip Ghosh is uh, contesting uh, both the Prime Minister and the Home Minister uh, um, came and campaigned. Uh, from the Trinamool, uh, uh, there have been a lot of road shows in favor uh, of uh, we have to uh, favor of their candidates. We have to also uh, there is a, there are also two interesting candidates, to both former uh, cricketers and who were part of the World Cup winning squad, Kirti Azad in 1983 and Yusuf Pathan uh, in 2011. They are also contesting on Trinamool tickets at uh, Bahrampur and Asansol Durgapur. So this is a very this is an interesting contest and. Uh, as we are going south of the state, as the elections are coming south, it is the Trinamool uh, bastion. And uh, uh, it, it is a challenge for the BJP to um, retain uh, the seats which it had won in 2019. Uh, the seats were won with a very small margin. Asan Sol, Durgapur and, and uh, Rana Ghat and these seats were won. Asan Sol is also uh, uh, is up for an interesting contest, particularly with uh, uh, with Trinamool Satrugan Sinha and uh, BJP's uh, SS Ahluwalia. Mr. Ahluwalia had represented two different Lok Sabhas uh, in West Bengal, Darjeeling from 14 to 19. And Asansol, uh, Bardhaman Durgapur from 19 to 24, but now he is uh, contesting from Asansol, which is his uh, home constituency. So, broadly, uh, this will also see more than one crore voters exercising their franchise across this, uh, these eight seats. So, uh, Shiv, 
this constituency if i remember currently uh, correctly used to be a stronghold of the left but the bjp made a dramatic uh, mm. uh, you know uh, entry into these seats and you know one a lot of votes clearly a lo lot of the left voters shifted their uh, loyalties to the bjp otherwise it would not have been possible for the bjp to grow this strong and also the, the bjp has filled mm. dilip ghosh who has not been an ambassador about his uh, hindutva views and uh, you know his ties with rss correct me if i'm wrong so with that said uh, is is hindutva playing a role in you know in uh, you know buttressing the bjp in this region and uh, do you think uh, you know uh, unlike you know other uh, other issues related to livelihood and uh, development and so on this issue uh, gives a you know an advantage to the bjp and makes the election bipolar vis a vis the trinamool or is it something that uh, something else in play uh, that's happening here so this uh, the whole campaign of bjp uh, in uh, west bengal this this time 2024 is built on the built upon that hindutva thing particularly in seats like uh, in, uh, bordering areas like rana ghat and krishnanagar both so they are uh, using the ca and the whole thing that the ca will give a kind of nationality to um, hindus who came from the other side of the border so that is their narrative uh, the counter narrative of trinamool is that the ca is targeted against muslims so uh, so this is being played out particularly in nadia in both the seats in nadia as far as bardaman is concerned bardaman was a very important is still a very important district and it was one of the bastions of the left parties now yes. the left parties have, you know they uh, they have uh, put up interesting candidates but it doesn't look that you know they will uh, they will um, you know they will it will be largely a bipolar election and they might uh, uh, you know get some votes and uh, even in seats like asansol which had uh, elected uh, bjp in 2019 and 2014 both before right. satrugan sinha won a bipole uh right. in 2021 i think um right. these seats were largely on it has a significant uh, population of hindi speaking population and the hindutva plank uh, was 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 played up by the bjp now right. dilip ghosh is a very interesting uh, candidate in you know in as far as the bjp leaders go go across right. the state he ha he has been censored a number of times by the party leadership but he continues going on making these right. statements and he even though his constituency has been changed from mednapur to asansol uh, uh, to bardaman durgapur he continues to be a a, a a very in a very strong position particularly right. because his campaign is drawing lot of lot a lot of crowds and he's seen going um uh, going and going going on with the shoes and doing all sorts of things so uh, pretty much the hindutva is very much a part of bjp's campaign as we come to the southern uh, part of the state where the elections are being held you you said that the the left congress alliance might play a spoil sport might play spoil sport to it, it could affect both of them the uh, my understanding no. is that when you say that you are saying that there is a significant anti incumbency vote for the trinamool and if the left congress parties uh, the alliance managed to you know wean away some voters from there that could affect the bjp on the other hand you also have the left congress alliance uh, taking away some of the muslim vote right that could affect the uh, trinamool congress right. correct me if i'm wrong so from right. from what you have seen right. so far what you have seen which of these black factors is playing you know uh, a bigger uh, which of these factors is bigger it's very difficult and it 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 would be uh, on the basis of uh, individual seats so for instance krishnanagar the left right. congress has fielded uh, a muslim candidate now uh, if there is uh, voting which you know the trinamool is banking on the support of constituencies small constituencies like tehatto and karim nagar which are the part of uh, part of there and if the left is able to take a part of the muslim votes then it can create problems for the trinamool similarly if in a constituency like bardaman if the uh, left in congress can take a significant number of uh, obc or scheduled caste votes from away from the uh, bjp then the bjp candidate is going to uh, lose 
so it is very uh, you know dynamic and they are putting up a good campaign this time and uh, depending on how you know which votes which section of voters are they able they they, they can influence it can tilt in either sides so uh, be uh, you know the left congress getting even getting a 1 lakh vote uh, would mean that you know uh, 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 this thing and particularly in a seat like uh, uh, bahrampur if you see that the left if if the hindu uh, voters go towards the bjp then then there will be a division of muslim votes between the congress and the trinamool so they, right. though they might not win a large number of seats but they are, the, the the candidates of the left parties in the congress are very important very crucial to the uh, elections uh, The Hindu has an in-depth interactive that looks at the state-wise and overall results of the 2014 and 2019 Lok Sabha elections. It also looks at the face-wise voting trend of the ongoing 2024 Lok Sabha elections. You can filter the results for population density, regions, performance of turn votes, reserve constituencies, and so on. Please scan the QR code to access the interactive. The link to the interactive is also provided in the description.